Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone 12 Pro. I did do one of these in 2020 and a lot of you guys were asking for an updated version for 2021. So here we are. And just for like the basics, I have the iPhone 12 Pro in the color silver. It does look pretty much white. And then for accessories, I just have a camera cover like protector thing. It doesn't actually work that well. It cracks really easily. And then I do have a screen protector, which works great. I haven't had to replace it yet. And then I do have this phone case from Bing Cases. So it is their customizable Polaroid case where basically you can send in a picture and then you can also choose text to go below it and they will print it on a phone case for you and it is adorable. This video is not sponsored whatsoever but Bing Cases are amazing. So if you guys want to go check them out the link will be down below and you can use my code Alyssa10 for 10% off your order and if you want to go check out the unboxing video for this phone or my previous what's on my iPhone they will also be linked down below. So so let's just get into the video. Okay, so this is my home screen. It is Iman, me, and Jenna. Super cute photo. I love this one. And then if you just swipe up into my phone, this is the home screen. So for the background, I have this really pretty like cloud sunset kind of image. If you want to go find anything of like my backgrounds or something, I do have them on a Pinterest board. My Pinterest is just Alyssa Darland. But that is what my background looks like. And then this is my like home page. But I'll start out with just these widgets that are on the side when I like swipe back and forth. So on the top left corner, I have a calendar widget and the next one I have a weather widget. This one will be blurred out as well as the couple below it just because they show my location. But I have that weather widget. I have this like Google Maps one, a battery widget. And then this one kind of shows like images and just random stuff. And then I have this widget, which has like all of my most recent apps. And then I do have my Snapchat widget. You guys can add me on Snapchat, but I don't really add people back because it's more of like a personal app for me. So I just use it with friends and family. Family. But then on my main like homepage, I have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, notes, weather, clock, maps, Google Photos, mail, app store, settings. And then I have this Apple folder here that has all of the Apple apps that I don't really use. As you can see, the majority of them are like offloaded. The one that I do use in here though is voice memos. That one's really helpful for like voiceovers and stuff like that. And then the folder next to that has a question mark emoji because the apps don't really fit into a certain section. So we have Bitmo living earth which is another weather app color widgets photo widget widget smith i don't honestly use color widgets or photo widget anymore i mainly just use widget smith and then sprocket connects to my little like photo printer that you can print photos from motivation is also another widget app and then this one is for like my helmet i think for when i ride my bike and then a shop app where i can track a bunch of orders this one is actually super helpful here are some of my orders i won't really show them to you but they're going to be blurred out but i do track my orders on this app and is super helpful and then next to that i have my money folder so this one just has my like banking and just money apps so i have apple wallet venmo and then wells fargo and then next to that i just have gmail and then on the bottom i have this widget which says the date and i made this on widget smith it's super simple and i believe i did a video on how to do like this widget or ios 14 stuff so if you want to go check that out it'll be right up here in the i card and then down below on this little like app bar thing i have the phone app for calling people Safari and then text messages. So yeah, that's basically the first page just the main like apps on the next page are apps that I use like pretty much every day So the top row has like all of my social medias which includes TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube So if you want to follow any of my social medias, they'll be listed on the screen right now But I do have a little pop-up that pops up in the beginning of each video that shows you guys those and it is also in the description of every video But my TikTok is just Alyssa Darland Snapchat. It's more of a personal thing that I use so don't really use it for YouTube. I just use it for my friends and stuff. Instagram it's just Alyssa Darland and then obviously YouTube is just Alyssa Darland. And then I have YOLO which is used for like Snapchat stories. I don't honestly use this anymore. I know it was like really popular in like 2019, 2020-ish. And then Pinterest is another social media I use. If you guys want to go follow me on there I believe my Pinterest is just Alyssa Darland but it might be Alyssa Darland 19. I don't know. And then Spotify is another app that I use. I 
would totally recommend Spotify. It works super, super well, and I love listening to music with it. I got a Spotify premium gift card for Christmas, so I'm currently using the premium plan. And if you do want to follow me on there, because I do make playlists sometimes, my Spotify is just Alyssa Darland. YouTube Studio is an app to track like anything from comments to analytics for posting videos on a YouTube channel. So basically, if you want to start a channel or if you already have one, this app will be super helpful for you and it works great. Then I have Netflix and Disney Plus and then I have this little like Spotify widget where basically if I click on it, it'll take me to my most listened to or like my most recently listened to Spotify playlist. So this is the most recent one. It's a studying or homework one. It's songs that actually are more popular but they're not like distracting. So I would totally suggest this playlist. So yeah, that little Spotify widget is the most like recent playlist I've listened to. And then onto all of my folders. So the first one is health. This one just includes the health app and the app flow. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a period tracker app for anybody who wants to track their period and stuff like that. And then I have a games folder. I honestly don't play these games very often, but I have Subway Surfer, Roblox, Infinity Tiles, Bubble Witch, Among Us, and BitLife. And then I have an editing folder. So in here we have Lightroom, Pixart, iMovie, Fonto, Photo Retouch, and Photoshop Express. So I kind of explained how the majority of these work or how I use them in my what's on my iPad video. But if you haven't seen that, I'll just go over these quickly. So Lightroom is what I use to edit like my Instagram pictures, thumbnails, just to put like filters and adjust brightness, colors, that kind of stuff. Pixart is what I use to outline my thumbnails sometimes or add little like stickers and stuff. iMovie is obviously the Apple editing app that comes with every Apple product. I don't really use this, but I just have it here. Fonto is another thing I use for thumbnails. Photo Retouch is basically like a free version of that one app where you can like erase things off your pictures. And then Photoshop Express, I think we all know what that is. It's just Photoshop. So yeah, those are the editing apps for my phone. And then if you exit out of editing and go into the next folder, this is my school folder. So it has all school related apps. So just to go over everything, we have Canvas, all of the little Google apps, Photomath, Quizlet, Kahoot, Slater, the normal like Google app. Good notes I actually don't really use for school, but I just have it here to connect from my iPad. Zoom, Brainly, and then Aries Portal. Those are all my school apps. And then I have my shopping folder. So if you guys watched the what's on my iPad video, you would know I only had two apps in my shopping folder and I had the majority on my phone. So here they are. This is not even all of them, but I have Target, Etsy, PacSun, Amazon, Shutterfly, Lululemon, Michaels, Nike, the Apple Store, Wildflower, and Brandy. I do have more, but they're not in the folder. And then my last folder is food. So I have Chick-fil-A, Pete's Coffee, Starbucks, Dairy Queen, Panera, Raising Cane's, and then Jamba Juice. And I do think I have more food apps. They're just in my app library, which I will get to. So yeah, that's basically it for my like mainly used page. And then I have this page, which has my weather. So that'll be blurred out, but it has the weather for the day. And then I have two of these photo like widget things. They do change like throughout the day. So this is what they're at now. So this top one is a picture of me, Jenna, and then Kira. And then the bottom one is me and Iman. And they do flip. So I know I have other pictures that like run through it that are like me and Lindsay, me and Sophie, me and like Minnesota friends, and then a couple more from California. So yeah, they kind of just run throughout the day. And then we have my app library. So this is basically where all my apps are. And I went through the majority of them, but I'll just show you guys some other ones that I haven't mentioned yet. So me and my friends played this game called Psych a couple of days or weeks ago. It's a pretty fun game. And then I also have Twitter downloaded. I don't know where that came from. I don't know why I have that. I'm not signed in or anything. Notion you guys probably know about now and then House Party. Here are some of my other like editing apps or just other, I guess, creative apps you could call them. Here's more of my shopping and food apps. And yeah, so that is basically it for what's on my phone. Hi guys. So it is actually like a couple days later after I filmed that whole first part and I've changed up my phone a little bit. So I figured I'd just show you guys because I don't know, maybe you guys want to see this one too. Don't worry, I will not be going through like all the apps and stuff. I'll just show you like my new layout. And please don't mind how I look right now. I was not planning on filming anything today, but I need to film this part. So I'm just going to show you guys my new layout. All right, so here's my new background. It's like this sage green kind of color. If you swipe up, this is how it now looks. It's the same background on the inside. I personally like when it's the same like background on the inside and the outside. But as you can see, all of the apps are the same. I didn't really move any, but I did change the little widget down here at the bottom. So I put this like 
I don't know, kind of blurred pastel like painted picture, I guess, of flowers that has the date over it. I made this on Widgetsmith. So I just put that there on the bottom. And then if we go to my next page, I added another widget, but it goes in between the two rows of apps. I didn't move any of the apps. I literally just placed the widget right in the middle of it. And I took off the Spotify one because I didn't really use it, I guess. And then I put like the similar picture than the one on this page. This one is also kind of like a painting, kind of like cottage core vibes. And it just kind of matches the whole background and stuff. And then here's the last page. The middle part will be blurred because that's my weather and it just shows like my city and stuff. And then I have two widgets on the top and the bottom. These two are both other pictures that I found on Pinterest that kind of match the vibe that I'm going with. So yeah, that is basically what I changed. I was literally just bored today and so I decided to redo it and I really like how it looks now. I do have the same like phone case and stuff on my phone. So yeah, I just felt like I'd show you guys that. And yeah, so now back to the original video with my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I post every Tuesday and Friday at 8 a.m. PST, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!